All right, let's check out this whole shot here. It's update. Ooh, a long stare. All right, main impressions. There's just something that feels dislocated on on this guy where I feel like the shoulder and and arms are just so different than the head. And by different I mean there's there's such a big move in the shoulders. I would reduce these guys by half and then you can always put go back and push some things, but I feel like going from here to here almost breaks the anatomy there and the enveloping a little bit. But if you bring this down you would also have more chest change because I see just the minimal change there and if you would if you reduce this and just do go a bit further with the chest that would also impact the head a bit more because right now I'm seeing so much movement in this up and down while the head kind of stays put especially through here this is the biggest one where this goes up this goes down the head just stays put and for just a moment it's looking sort of camera I would also kind of avoid that but I wonder if this like a, an IK head or head align or whatever those controls are called, where to me stuff like that, it just kind of breaks it where there's never any type of side rotations there. So even through here, I see a bit of a change in the chest, but it just seems so minimal compared to what is going on through here. And there's no rotation in Y. No, I'm just not quite buying the mechanics through there. And there's also something, maybe because it's a little bit early early on, but you have to start thinking about, so watch out, you got some elbow pops where they pop, pop, stop and go over single frames. You have, once it gets on there and you put more pressure on there, that wrist would bend out and you can potentially have a bit of a, an arc like this for weight. Yeah, there's a bit of a tiny spreading in the in the knuckles and fingers out for weight. There's more rotation. As it goes out, the hand here wouldn't just go up straight. It would roll off and it would roll towards us as well. Like it wouldn't just land on this corner and stay put. Um, oh, I mean, all that adds to just to the to the clunkiness a little bit. Especially when you have something like this, when this is bent and goes into a straight, but then this stays put. That's your broken IK flag there, where everything is moving except the IK hands. So I would start looking into that. Same thing on on the feet. They kind of plant a bit flatly. They come off and and s s get down a bit too flat. But that's I don't know, that's also just detail stuff. But there's something that feels just a bit too broken in those shoulders, and it also feels too fast. And I know they can move fast, but there's something where just that action on him, that head turn and how those shoulders pop around, just it feels too light and too fast. And I thought you had reference that like showed stuff like this where they are actually really fast and they have fast movements. I wonder if at this point we can just cheat this a little bit and add you know ten percent slowdown. It's just such speediness in his feet as well. Tick, 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 right through there. The other thing that's kind of missing is on bond first viewing was this just felt a bit too fast and broken up in the shoulders first through here. Then this felt a bit soft and it's impact. Boom. If he's going that fast and really charging, it would be boom. I feel like you want to have a bigger impact as, as the fists here connect that there would be a Boom, a pushback with a little bit of a drag on the head and then hang time and then coming back down just after that impact there. Boom, also on him. Ba Boom. It just feels a bit soft how they get together. I don't feel any, any type of impact. And we're back to having kind of a broken head where to me the orientation stays the same while you can see there's quite some change here in the chest and shoulder but then the head stays put. I don't see any get any influence there so that to me was the second one the looseness here the speed of it in the shoulders this impact feeling a bit soft oh, 
Same thing through here. You know, when he when he goes back here and brings his arm down, this just feels well. This is just the key with the pose here, and because of that, I'm now raising the shoulder up because there's some weight on here. But that I don't feel that in a change in the chest or even a side to side on the root. It doesn't quite feel like the weight shifts are there, and just the weight of it, the mechanics are not quite there yet. So you have to think about it might lean over towards us until it puts the weight on here and then it by now it would push the other way which means shoulder up chest over head influence maybe on impact and then correction for balance all that stuff feels a bit missing there and you could potentially also just push this with his pose and his patient where it might be shoulder up a bit higher, maybe head a bit higher, open mouth, and just give it a bit more of a, an arm out. Not this, this is a bad drawing. I wouldn't consider that a drawing, but it feels like this is an arm that fell asleep that is trying to raise, and there's no change in this arm. And I know we don't want to go super cartoony or superhero or rah, getting ready, but I think you can still push this into something a bit more, a bit more pushed, even with, with this, where maybe you can have that foot over with with a foot roll that is really you know rolling up and ready to to uh engage and push the body forward again right now the feet they feel so defaulty and flat that i don't feel that much power in this and if there's that much you know swing this way again the head feels like it's still looking this way there was no change in the head there's no influence on all of the upper rotation on the head and it it starts to overstretch this geometry here and the knee will be pointing this way as well you want to feel that overall swinging momentum this way so i feel there's just a lot of movement that feels dislocated from it from from each other that drop here also feels late it feels like you want to go boom on this with that with after all of this swinging over it would be leaning on this leg then up with the root and then drop so it doesn't feel a bit more connected and less of a oh, i'm done with the move now drop it feels a bit too separate speaking of separate that you can see that hair rotation the head just goes up but it feels like you can just draw a line here and it's mostly in here i don't see anything else in here being influenced like you have to think about it in terms of if this moves up, it's going to affect everything else in the body down. Obviously, a head move is going to affect mostly through here and fade out. But if you have this, like a big swing in here, it's going to affect definitely this, all of this, and fading out into legs. But there's still going to be an effect of it. Think of it in terms of painting weights. You know, this feels like this is all... This is all whatever the color is. You could invert it. it was, this would be all black. And this is just still completely white. And this is completely white. You know, and this is completely white. Versus, okay, if I paint weights, then you're going to have all of this. Again, whatever white, I guess white for full influence. And then shades of gray into white, right? Uh, into black. And then you have that fade out into black. It needs to be a gradual fade out of, of each body move. Um, like that body part will influence the rest of the body. I hope that makes sense. I do like this. I do like their staring contest. I've always liked that. I think at this point, this would be the moment for this guy to go <laughs> something in the in the mouth and the cheeks and you know chest puffing and you could almost have a start of pounding chest, but they're not really. And gets back into this. And then the exit feels a bit clunky where it's we go back and we have this bit of an unfortunate silhouette there and then it's just kind of a this sideways it's almost comedic sideways move out i don't know i would go it just feels again light i will probably keep this a bit more three quarter he might take a step out this way but then not go this far and on this step back in front of this leg where he's trying to look again in front of it to not lose sight of the attacker just not quite buying this. And careful on something like this. When you're this low, you want to bring up a foot roll. Do not break that. Achilles heel there. 
but I think still overall it's getting better. There's more stuff to it where where I like these moments of contrast where you have the push off the different fights and that like that moment of a character moment through there. I like all of that stuff. I like where this is headed. Um, it's just the mechanics are are a bit rough here and there. It's a little bit blocky and not quite buying like this to me. Even pose wise, I would have to look at your reference again. This feels a bit too human. Even if you would bring this into you know, curly toes and everything, there's something a bit too non-creature in some of those poses. Especially something like this, where it feels a bit more almost cartoony. All right, that's for that. And then I'm going to do a playthrough of this one. We're back to the shot here. Yeah, this still feels extremely light. And I'm looking all at the creature, and then once, I'm on once creature, once Venom's done here, I'm only now looking at this, and I know it has to jump away from from the fist, but just missing that action. It's almost like it's almost like this frame. You could almost have a building or something where it would jump off this way and bounce off this way, right? So oh, through this jumps off onto that side of the of the wall with my awesome drawing here and then jumps forward and you have a bit more forward lean um you know on that <coughs> excuse me uh on that pose and that's the last thing moving forward <coughs> excuse me i know it still suffers a bit like having not seen this for a while it still suffers from the Initial problems of of the weight and hang time. There's something where this it feels you had that better before. Where on this we're so curved over, where you want this to be on a straight this type of pose sooner, and not on the full extension leg having this so bent over. And then your arms are a bit too twins going back at the same time there. But then again, as you go here, like I would watch that arc. There's something where we're suddenly dipping too fast. I can't remember how you had your arms before. If we had those arms forward and then swing the arms down for that roll. Now it feels like everything will be coming out of the chest where I'm just not quite buying the mechanics to this here either, where I would It's almost like it's almost like you want to then curl maybe arms in head first so he's already in it then in a tucked position with that head move in will give you again the head needs to be in and then at the end you bring in the legs but once you're here it feels like we're just going straight this way again giving us this type of feel versus that i thought we had a more successful version before I would really, I w you might have to go back to just putting in a sphere as a placeholder and giving you that nice arc of this is what the, a jump and fall will look like weight wise and spacing wise, and then looking at what you can do. Is it, you know, center of mass, so the gravity will be here, rotating out of this. Feels like the rotation is also a bit off. This still has that feeling of we're swinging this way, but the body is pointing this way versus swinging towards that line like this feels better this way but then we're getting this where we're crabbing a bit sideways i do like so like that change here that this feels a bit more weighty as this the web gets a bit more taut there i think that feels a bit better It's hard not to imagine Spider-Verse at this point and giving this just much, you know, just pushed poses. But at the same time, this is more movie Spider-Man versus cartoon Spider-Man. But I still feel like that through here, we could exaggerate. See how far forward your legs are. Just for continuity, if you're going forward, you could, you can have those legs forward through here and then they go 
back and have this one leg a bit further uh, higher and this guy a bit lower just to kind of push a little bit more on that pose. Yeah, it feels like we're back to a previous version, unless I'm, I just forgot how it used to be, but it has that moment of boom, and it's that elbow snaps down. And I don't, I just don't feel that foo, through there. You want a bit of a snap down on that arm. Just that impact on those arms. I think the left one's better, but that right one still feels off. Yeah, I just feel like it's the same kind of notes as before. I, this just kind of lands and goes up. Like if this is the boom, the final drop of the roots, then you would have the final compression, the chest and the head. As this comes to, to the rest, uh, to the stop, the rest of the momentum here still has to go down. It feels like we're all stopping at the same time and it all just goes up at the same time. This still feels a bit the same. I think this is fine. This is so short. And again, I'm not buying the size still of this. It's too fast. And then it feels like we're hitting the apex with those arms at the same time. And then it go down, giving this a bit of a twin feel. Where does he land here? I mean, not. I know this is behind him, but you could still just have something where we just cheat this to a point where we, we think this is here. And then, like I said, you could do something like that. It would be more interesting. And then it would feel like I'm evading the fist, but I'm still charging forward to attack the creature. So yeah, it's kind of interesting to see that after so long. Um, but yeah, these are the thoughts. Lots of similar notes than before. All right, thank you. All right, there's an email. You can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.